Good morning, good morning, everyone. I'm going to read this morning Proverbs 21 because it's May 21st, 2022. So I'm hoping everyone's having a wonderful time, a wonderful day. Lord, thank you for your love, your grace. Thank you, God, that you give us everything that we'll ever need. And God, um, open our hearts and our minds to anything and everything you want to tell us through your word and through the Battlefield the Mind devotional. Uh, so we'll read Proverbs 21. <clears throat> the Lord can control a king's mind as he controls a river. He can direct it as he pleases. You may believe you are doing right, but the Lord judges your reasons. Doing what is right and fair is more important to the Lord than sacrifices. Proud looks, proud thoughts, and evil actions are sin. The plans of hardworking people earn a profit, but those who act too quickly become poor. Wealth that comes from telling lies vanishes like a mist and leads to death. The violence of the wicked will destroy them because they refuse to do what is right. Guilty people live dishonest lives, but honest people do right. It is better to live in a corner on the roof than inside the house with a quarreling wife. Evil people only want to harm others. Their neighbors get no mercy from them. If you punish those who make fun of wisdom, a foolish person may gain some wisdom. But if you teach the wise, they will get knowledge. God, who is always right, watches the house <clears throat> of the wicked and brings ruin on every evil person. Whoever ignores the poor when they cry for help will also cry for help and not be answered. A secret gift will calm an angry person. A present given in secrecy will quiet great anger. When justice is done, good people are happy, but evil people are ruined. Whoever does not use good sense will end up among the dead. Whoever loves pleasure will become poor. Whoever loves wine and perfume will never be rich. Wicked people will suffer instead of good people, and those who cannot be trusted will suffer instead of those who do right. It is better to live alone in the desert than with a quarreling and complaining wife. Wise people's houses are full of the best foods and olive oil, but fools waste everything they have. Whoever tries to live right and be loyal finds life, success, and honor. A wise person can defeat a city full of warriors and tear down the defenses they trust in. Those who are careful about what they say keep themselves out of trouble. People who act with stubborn pride are called proud, bragger, and mocker. Lazy people's desires, desire for sleep will kill them because they refuse to work. All day long they wish for more but good people give without holding back. The Lord hates sacrifices brought by evil people, particularly when they offer them for the wrong reasons. A lying witness will be forgotten, but a truthful witness will speak on. Wicked people are stubborn, but good people think carefully about what they do. There is no wisdom, understanding, or advice that can succeed against the Lord. You can get the horses ready for battle, but it is the Lord who gives the victory. And so that was Proverbs chapter 21. And this morning I'm reading from the, the, new, the new century version. And today we're going to do number 29, Hold Your Tongue. And this one's from the Battlefield of the Mind devotional. <clears throat> Psalm 34 verses 13 and 14. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek, inquire for, and crave peace and pursue. Go after it. 
May we all pursue peace in all our relationships and in everything we do. Okay. You really have the gift of gab, one man told many, me many years ago when I first started in the ministry. He had pointed out something that I already knew. God had given me a ready tongue. That is, I speak easily. Words are my tools. The Lord first gave me that gift, and then he called me into the ministry to use that ability to work for him. I have no trouble talking. That's my gift. That's also been my greatest problem, because I seem to always have something to say. I have struggled many, many years over the right use of my tongue. It has not been an easy battle. Over the years, I heard various people saying things like, hold your tongue. Do you have to speak every word that comes to your mind? Do you always speak first and think later? Must you sound so harsh? Had I truly listened to what people were saying, I might have realized that God was trying to tell me something, but I ignored their comments and continued in my own stubborn ways. I know I have wounded people with my words in the past, and I'm sorry for that. I'm also grateful that God has forgiven me. Several years ago, I realized that if God was going to use my life, I had to gain control of my tongue, not just to stop talking, but to keep my tongue from evil and my lips from speaking deceit, as the psalmist David says. I had a choice. I could hurt people with my words, and I could do that well, or I could bring my lips into subjection to God. Obviously, I wanted to be subject to the Lord, but it still was a battle. Our words are expressions of our hearts, of what's going on inside us. If we want to know who a person really is, all we need to do is listen to their words. If we listen long enough, we will learn a lot about them. As I learned to listen to my own words, I also began to learn a lot about myself. Some of the things I learned did not please me, but they did help me realize that I had a character flaw that I needed, that needed to be addressed. My words were not pleasing God, and I wanted them to. Once I confessed my failure to God, the victory came, not all at once and not perfectly, but God is patient with me. I'm growing and part of my growth is keeping my lips from evil. No matter how negative you are or have been or how long you've been that way, God wants to change you. In the early days after my confession to God, I still failed more often than I succeeded. But every time I did succeed, I knew I was closer to God's plan for my life. God can do the same for you. It won't be easy, but you can win, and the effort will be worth it. Lord, help me use my mouth for right things. Put a watch over my mouth, lest I sin against you with my tongue. Let my words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you. I ask in Jesus' wonderful name, amen. Thank you, God, that you're with us. Thank you, God, that you love us. Thank you, God, that you've already given us absolutely everything that we will ever need. And God, thank you that we can come to you about anything and everything. Thank you, God, for each and every person that hears your word and puts it into practice. And God, I ask for you to put a Watch over our mouths, over what we say, and Lord, over what we choose to put into our mouths. May what we choose to be eating or drinking, may it be wholesome for our nourishment. And Lord, may the words that come out of our mouth be pleasing to you. And Lord, help us to be people who build others up. And thank you, God, that you have given us everything that we'll ever need. You've already given us everything we will ever need. And thank you, God, that you're bigger, you're more strong, you're stronger, you're more powerful than anything, anywhere. And God, thank you for the victory. Thank you, God, we're trusting by faith in Jesus alone that we truly will have victory. 
and we already have the victory of being all that you created us to be as we trust in you moment by moment, day by day. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.